recommending the product to you and you're like oh uh, if i use this product my hair must be long like yours in the next two weeks like be big imagination <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here this is maggie and i create content around hair growth hair care tips and everything that you need to know about your hair in general with me today is naturally joanna yes can you introduce yourself i am naturally joanna don't forget to follow her on her youtube channel at and naturally joanna and on my instagram page at also at naturally joanna naturally underscore joanna today we are going to actually be talking about a very should we call it crucial. a very crucial topic another word for it a very should i say contest sensitive yes sensitive very topic. sensitive topic i was going out with my hair very full and someone had to ask me are you from kogi state and i was like no i'm not she's like kogi state people always have this long hair so it means that people have centered their like they've centered yeah, their minds yeah. to like only kogi state people yeah. or only this kind of people can have long hair yeah, and see. then i had to like i couldn't say much but then this is the truth people think that it's genetics that grow long hair mm -hmm. and i have seen a lot of people that do not even have hair in their family and they came out having this long hair yeah, this long hair like I, you, you get what i'm saying yes i get what you're saying like actually face the same problem too with people and to be honest with you it's something that is very very heartbreaking yeah. it's heartbreaking in the sense that you are a kind of person that you do a lot to your hair yeah. you take care of your hair and yes. they can even see it like they themselves can see but they cannot admit to the fact because yeah. they have zeroed their mind yeah, that mind. in order for me to have a long hair i must be missed with a family that has a long hair yes. like i have to be coming from a different kind of like my hairdresser used to tell me once she told me that um you have a long hair because you are Igbo. Igbo people always have long hair and i just like when she i was like are you like but then if there's nothing you can do about it i just um i'm just angry most times because of their ignorance i think ignorance is the most annoying thing in this world like you not knowing something and not actually caring about it like you don't even want to know you just centered your mind that oh, i cannot achieve this thing because mm -hmm. this is just how it's, it's done so we are here today to actually tell you that it's not actually only genetics although genetics is still it can contribute to like the yeah. thickness of your hair. It can contribute to like how you know fast. full how um yeah. how fast your hair grows. Yes. Some people have thin hair, like it's very soft. Some people have like very thick hair. So genetics kind of like works in that. But when you talk about how long your hair grows, genetics has it does no, not have it anything does not have to do any. With it. The only difference is that somebody that has fast hair growth can get somewhere maybe to a particular length in three years. Why yeah. someone that has slow hair growth can get there in four years. Yeah. So that's the only difference. It does not mean that because you have this genetics, your yeah, hair will grow longer than this longer. person. No, people most people don't have the patience. Yeah. Because I was in my room and then someone was like, I just wish I had your patience. So like deal yeah. with your hair exactly how you are doing. Actually, with you. the patience is just the thing because I, I think I, I have a video here on YouTube which I will leave a a, a link to. I was braiding my hair myself and I think I, I said it that it took me two good weeks to rebraid that hair because I was extremely busy with life at that moment and if I'm not even busy as I was at that moment I will be using like three to four days this one that I braided again I did it for three days when my roommate comes to my room they're like Margaret you and this hair again like, you are, and do you know what I will reply my reply is yes me and my hair again because when you start seeing the lens so that you don't go out saying it's genetics you know that okay she's actually dedicating her time you know what you are is actually what you you water that we actually grow. yeah that's true that that's is, true. even in life that is just how that's it is true, yes. you have to be patient with things so now we're actually going to be actually talking about the fact that genetics is not though genetics is part of it but genetics is not like it's not even is it up to 60 percent no it doesn't dictate it doesn't how dictate long. how long your hair can be but then genetics can contribute to the thickness the volume of your hair yes i it think can. yeah it can and also the rate at which your hair grows so those ones can be attributed to genetics yes. but there are other external factors that does not have anything to do with genetics and have more to do with us and I our activities it's very important to hair care yeah. because it's like you I, I usually give this as, as an example like when you have like a grass you now most of the time when it's dry season grasses get dry, dry. 
the moment water comes, you can see it they pick picking up. up like they come back to life. They come back and to it, life. And it helps to like reduce thick ends. It helps to yeah. reduce knots. Yeah. It helps to reduce like dry ends. I don't know if you check some air, you just see like there's some ends that are really dry. There's yeah, nothing, they have to trim it off. So like moisturizing helps to preserve length. Yeah. So when you moisturize the air as often as needed, when your air is dry, you have to moisturize. So as often as needed, you need to moisturize your air. This most of you, most of people have seen, they don't they neglect it. They like neglect they do it. neglect it. They do nothing actually. And it's really bad as far they always want to have long hair, but they don't put this in their record. Yeah. One of the things that helped me was when i was still starting i always put a reminder i put a reminder like okay this time i'm supposed to i'm supposed to do this conditioning or i'm supposed to moisturize or i'm supposed to do something to my yeah. hair because sometimes when it's not part of me when you don't put a reminder you especially when you are just starting a hair care routine yes, you will not remember. Remember. factor yeah. to your hair growth it's your nighttime routine actually when i started growing my hair at first i didn't know that bonnet actually does anything to our hair i just felt like the bonnet was just a way to protect my hair not, not like protect let me not use the word protect because i've not gotten to that um, level of hair knowledge yet i was just doing that way of packing like just to pack my hair away and take it away from my face or take it away um, and that is mostly when i make christmas hair like all those easter hair christmas hair that's when you see people wear bonnets these days so they don't know what bonnet is but they just think it's just a way of protecting their christmas hair from getting rough but thank god you even have that mindset that it kind of protects your hair so now here is what bonnet does bonnet actually helps to keep the moisture trapped in your hair okay let's use this as an example you spilled water on the floor and you want to wipe it up with you want to wipe it up with um a cotton material and then you have a, a satin material you know that the cotton material will absorb the water that the satin material will the satin material won't even absorb the water it will yeah, just get true. wet very quickly and it won't absorb anything mm. but the cotton material will absorb the matter the water and it will just get wet yes so this is what bonnet goes to our hair it helps the moisture which you have added into your hair to stay in your hair especially when you go to sleep at night and you feel like it's very hot at night and you can't wear your bonnet it's very advisable that you get a satin for your case like a satin just something just like when i i usually get comments like if i had your hair I would never do anything to it like I'll just leave it and I'm like I'm screaming breakage because <laughs> I know my hair is going to break obviously yeah, yeah. so I don't like to leave my hair like yesterday my hair was out I had to like attend a very important event of my life so my hair was very out and it was nice everybody was complimenting well, but <laughs> in the night I had to like put it into this African treasure because I cannot I cannot just make my hair break to so, be honest with you I'm i can't even leave my hair like i'm very sure you guys it's very hard for you to even see my hair on normal day on norms ah, you I can't, can't even see it. my hair like so, somebody was asking me she was like why are you doing this style again why can't you just work your hair like pack it a very unique i'm like hey you don't know what is going on yeah, no. if i should just make that mistake just for a day a day the whole effort i'm trying to put in here is wasted I'm like it's the waste so that is what protective style yes protective style helps you to put your hair in, in like in check yeah it helps to especially if you have natural hair now it helps to put, keep your hair in st stretched yeah. like instead of it shrinking because most times our hair likes to shrink mm -hmm. and when it shrinks it cuts a lot yes. if you have relaxed hair it's a way to help to preserve like I think you know more. Yes. So you have to preserve the length so that the it length. doesn't break. So it doesn't break. It's a way to even help you to stretch your relaxer because I don't know how I want to stretch my relaxer. Like the gap between when I relax my head to when I'm going to get my relaxer again. I don't know how I want to stretch that. If I'm always combing my hair every single day, every single day I'm combing my hair. It's not going to work because now you have new growth you are dealing with and most things one thing about us relaxed people most of us don't know how to deal with the new growth we are always running like once the new growth comes out it gets very painful and it gets painful and we don't know how to manage because it's not something that we are used to so that is why it's actually advisable that you put your hair in a protective style that way you'll be able to like at least three months four months five months you should be able to stretch your relaxer and be patient it is very very important very, very i remember important. when i was in when i was in my first year university i was very very like then i was my hair was not so money and i was very like rushing to get this like long hair ah. i've always tried everything from rice water <laughs> to whatever i had 
and it was it was because I was like anxious, like I wanted that yeah. long hair. I was not patient. And then fast forward to like four years or five years now. I think my will be six years this year. Wow. Fast forward to like five years after, everybody's like, wow, how did you get it? I'm like, I I'm trying to remind them of the past the and they past, cannot like, see. Like even it. my classmate that I started the section with, like I started making my hair. I think in twenty in 28 no i think making my hair in 2019 okay. and i got admission in 2019 so i actually went to my department like the first time i resumed with that short length though i always had a full head that is that one is normal but then the length of it when they see me still see me too they'll be like no it's heavy tree someone in your family here. and you know when i started like we started this journey together that's actually one of the major reasons why I have to start a YouTube channel so that we can document this thing from the beginning so that when you see me at a bot length tomorrow you won't tell me that it's hereditary you, the patient aspect, somebody coming to me today and I'm giving you, okay, I'm recommending a product to you and you're like, uh, if I use this product, my hair must be long like yours in the next two weeks like baby, imagination <laughs> five years effort with struggle I know, right? and you are telling me that you want to have you want to achieve it in a week moisture nighttime routine protective down and then patience and then consistency is when you repeat this whole previous Thing. years over and like over. over and over and over again i just give you six months at least six months you should You'll be able to see. see a slight not even if it's not much at least a slight difference in your hair so that you, now you can't just come out and say it's genetics yeah no. it's genetic it's not genetics don't let anybody deceive you that is actually ignorance okay i think i have something on that patient again. okay so one thing that helped me was the fact that i zeroed my mind i had to like you know make my research and knew that okay an average man grows half an inch in a month i don't know if you've heard yeah actually it. I so it means that an average man can grow more than half he can grow but like that's just an average, an average. So, in a year that's like probably six inches but if i'm having half inch in a month in a year that's six inches yeah in a year so just imagine that um just imagine having six inches in a year and i'm thinking that a product will give me um 15 inches yeah, at the end of the day you're still having inch and yeah. before that you are retaining the inch is what is very important okay so we've come to the end of today's video make sure you subscribe yeah. subscribe to maggie styles channel you can also subscribe to my channel naturally joanna yeah. yes and i hope to see you like this video share with your friends and yes it's a wrap yeah. bye 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 <laughs>